sad. Good time to be a woman lately. Hey, happy belated Women's Day. Oh, thank you. Huh? Did you. What did you do? Nothing? Did you get, they take you out? Did you, did you, anything happen? Nah, mm, mm, zero. Nah, just, there's another, <laughs> another day that ends with why. <laughs> I won't talk about it here. I won't talk about it here. Damn it. <laughs> I won't talk men, about it men here. Men keep embarrassing me. But it was, it was a nice day. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. International Women's Day. And stop Do you actually expect gifts on, on Women's Day? No. I expect, Are there women who do? Yes. Yes. And then you expect on your birthday, then you expect on what? That's then what I was going to say. I expect on my birthday. I expect on Valentine's Day is a give or take. I expect on Christmas. <laughs> If you don't give me a gift on Christmas, it's going to be a problem. I'm even telling you, you, Marcus, if I don't get something for Christmas, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> so, we, we didn't tell you, men, we are, we are finished. No, but anyway. then Christmas uh, is a mutual, uh, it's a mutual holiday. Like, so, I will, punk way. Yes, I will give you a gift. I expect one in return. But my birthday, I better receive some gifts. <sighs> and, then, and then on Women's Day as well? Women's Day, if it comes, I'll be grateful. But it's not a deal breaker. Uh, yeah, I won't hold it against someone. But that's just me. There's some people who do expect gifts, and that's something I can respect. But what I'm saying, um, when I say it's a good time to be a woman, well, a woman in Europe at least, they've approved a paid menstrual leave in Spain. So for your period, you have three to five days a month paid time off. Three to five days a month? Yes. So you're already working 25 days, now it's reduced to 20. Why are you looking at it like that? I have to look at it like that. But let me ask you another question. Mm -hmm. And please, I, I'm asking Ngafara in the back bench for Nansana people. Mm -hmm. the, the, when, 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 when it's that time of the month mm. and you just call your boss, mm. especially if it's a male boss mm. and say i can't make it to work female issues mm -hmm. is there ever an issue that's me do you get does your boss come down heavy on you you've had male bosses before yes Has i've it, had you as a boss before. yeah again I have, I have had many people tell me this as well can't make it to work female issues what's my response ah okay get well soon so this might be a bit of a controversy, but I have to say it because it's actually the truth. Male bosses, in my experience, you inclusive, have been very receptive to that request as opposed to female, female bosses. bosses. Female bosses will say, Nange mbi itamu mama wangi mpitao. Ate wana ndi mkukora. You have, I'm going through this. Yes, there's some women that I've also worked with who are like, oh, I, I get it, you know, get better soon. But on the whole of it women seem to be less Understanding. receptive to that request okay so so, so for I the male guys for the male bosses those were days every time in a month that i expect this co conversation to happen mm -hmm. between my female uh people people who work under me mm -hmm. and they still get fully paid yes so why put it into law it's happening because, anyway. Because of the situations of people who don't want to give them that leave. Not everyone is going to think like Marcus, by the way. There's also some male bosses who will be like, by the way, don't tell me those things. I expect you at work. Signing it into law allows people to recuperate for those three to five days. Because I have seen some people whose period gets really, really bad. I went to school with someone who for those days, she had to be hooked up to an IV because the pain made her throw up again and again and again and again she couldn't keep food down so she would get to points of dehydration that's why she needs the medical note and shows she it when she's getting employed yes but how many people are actually going to be considerate of that fact and that could actually be a deterrent for her to get the job imagine there's five applicants and one of the applicants gives you that medical note of i will need five days off a month because my period is so bad she would never get employed but yeah, now true. signing it into as, law as it is these days it's already hard people. it's already hard to, to 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 employ women because exactly anything like th let me say that the odds are stacked against us mm. so this evens the grounds 
saying that I'm okay. I have those three to five days because even if you don't give me those three to five days off and I come to the office, the chances of me actually being productive are very low because I'm going to come in, I'm in pain. I'm doubled over for most of the time. I'm, my head is on my desk. I am not going to be productive. So yes, I'm in the building, but I've done nothing for you. So why make me come in anyway? Spain can afford it. Africa, we can't. I'm sorry. We can. We just and don't our, want And our mothers went through Let these things you, while digging. You guys are paying for these things. You just have refused to acknowledge that you are paying. Because like I said, you will walk through an office building and a woman who's not feeling well will have her head on the table for hours on end. Or she'll go to the bathroom. Or she'll find somewhere to hide. But you know, all she'll be in her car. Oh, I'm in the building. All, all you're saying here, Anne, is that indeed the odds are stacked against you. Because now I will not hire a, a female. I will stick with the mighty Jana, who no matter what, no matter the day, are Akora. Or you call it Om Sir. Our Sir Babera, that one is gender neutral. <laughs> so you would rather hire men? No, I'm just saying. I'm, 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 I'm just saying that the more you say these things, the more you make employers realize that. Hey man, these channels have too many issues. But then imagine, when can we just just job all? But now when you give me those five days off to recuperate or those three days off to recuperate and I come back and I'm not twice as productive as your male employees then? Hey, that's, that's a gray area. We can't be sure about that. But we've also seen cases where it's actually the truth and women end up being more productive. But, but, but Anne, like I was saying earlier, our, our, environment. our mothers mm -hmm. did these things, worked for jobs, dug carried another child here and did everything I and still managed to have, eh? they did all this stuff they went through and this they stuff never took a day and off. they were unhappy for it but they were still productive were they yeah every day of this you are certain to no of course not but the results say so what the sun is if this is the result of, of productive I have an argument. <laughs> I have an argument. No, seriously. Our mothers did all these things. And at yes, no point did you did hear, ever hear them saying that our period pains are an encumbrance to our work. They Never. did not say it to you, but they probably did say it. But no one wanted to hear it. Because back then, if you remember, women were not people in the eyes of society. Women were wombs and used for sexual gratification. You are not a human being. Women couldn't vote. Up until recently in the Middle East, women couldn't drive. So you really think that anyone gave a damn about what women had to say? So you think they were suffering in silence? Yes, they were. Of this I know. I know. Anyway, and good there are still some good. women who are suffering in silence to date. Good. So this helps us because now it's also going to help you as a business owner. You're going to have a woman who can rest for those three days, come back and chikube. Isn't Spain the same country where they, they, they authorized the four-day working week? I believe so. They're very progressive guys. Now, do you see why they can afford the things that they can afford? That, that brand of forward thinking is going to keep them way ahead of us here in Uganda. We have a president who calls us lazy and you think that we're ever going to progress. We have not reached. Our problems are here to stay. Let me tell you something. I, 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 have, I have a problem since you're speaking of problems. Explain to me how, and I like how the, our, our set is full of men. It is so imbalanced, by the way. Munyambe. No, 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 Kathy's there. You're, you're, yes, you're, it's you're. imbalanced. I have Kathy, but then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven men. Listen, one ma bagai bangi. An on demand, non hormonal male contraceptive pill may be a real possibility as scientists who have found a cell pathway or switch that stops sperm from being able to swim. Continue. Tests in mice suggest that it keeps sperm stunned <laughs> for at least a few hours, long enough to stop them reaching the egg. So this is a male contraceptive pill. Male contraceptive pill. It but stops you, the thing from you swimming. You take it before a it's few hours on, too. It says on demand, so I'm, I'm not sure whether that's yeah. I think it's I think it's before. You take it right. Yeah, yeah it's before. Well, it doesn't matter what you do after if you're finished pouring yeah, your person. Yeah. Oh, you can take it during. So let's say you then, have you have a plan in two hours. You take the capil now. And this one they have not given any dosage. How to use? We don't have it here. 
I don't have that. I just know what is the, the, the science behind it. But so, even if they did, so men would. <laughs> Shall you take it? You have the option. You have removed the, 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 the responsibility from madam. Because sometimes madam, they trap us. Ah. Then the next thing you know, oh, ah, yeah. Peace is a gun. Ah. Ah. <laughs> First of all, I think it's worth noting that there are some men who are worth being trapped by me. And then other men, <laughs> it's just a genuine mistake. Ah, I, I, be it's be it's that as it may. Be that as it you. may. Me, I'm asking my gentlemen. Would you take it? Can so okay with you? Yeah. You uh-huh. would. Uh-huh. Would you take it? Tike. <laughs> Tike. <laughs> Tike said zero. Why? Huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> you take it. You take it. I swear, men stay swearing. <laughs> Their pull-out game is. Solid. Hey, pull-out game is Zimbabwe. Seven kilos. Zimbabwe. Would you take it, Marcus? Absolutely. Freaking lutely. You would? Oh, la, 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 la. Like, like grown-ups of Gaetano. <laughs> what do you mean? Every morning. We <laughs> <laughs> kira, we kira. <laughs> but you're good to go. Ah, you're you're not worried. For you're gold. not worried. Yeah. Gender means to go. And you come to attack. Because we are putting out his tough. Okay, so you would take that bill. <laughs> but would you get a vasectomy, Kali? Absolutely. Because that's also, that's also Absolutely. an option. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why do you think a lot of guys wouldn't take vasectomies or wouldn't take the wouldn't pill? Wouldn't take the pill or get a vasectomy. I think I think the 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 way the way the world was created, everybody has responsibilities, and the responsibility of of childbearing or lack thereof mm. should not be ours. It's the woman's, and always has been the woman's. She's the one who knows this, this guy. Tendo can say all he wants that I have stopped giving birth to children. Mm-hmm. Unless he decides to put it on his own, whatever, and says, Madam, me have got a vasectomy. As long as he is still functional with Madam, she will it's come and tell him, me. Tomorrow, hello, please. It's well, not in our hands. Way. Never has been. But now that we are progressing the way that we are, and it is a joint effort to watch it one more, why then? Uh, I've spoken to some people and they say that it's a hit on their manhood. They feel less man. Again, it's, it's a whole role separation issues. Like, everybody has a role here. Yes, but you don't want kids. I don't want kids. Why won't you do what is necessary? You go and tie the things. Our things can heal. Did you know that? Which, uh, when, women's go, when women go for tubal ligation, mm. the chances of it actually failing are higher than a vasectomy failing. Not to mention the tubal ligation surgery I, is a lot more invasive compared to a vasectomy. A vasectomy is an outpatient surgery. Like you can go now and by 6 p.m. you'll be out of the hospital and home with an ice pack on your crotch. Us guys have yeah, we we a yeah. It's a ice few pack. days. A few days. You just ice the guy for a little bit and the next day you are okay. Functional? Yes. Not vigorously, but you'll be okay. <laughs> Not aggressively. You, you. Pola and pola. Hey. Ah. And anyway, listen, but like I said, me, I have, no, I have nothing against have vasectomy, no none whatsoever. I think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's important because, yeah, it's important. Population control. And then also, you, some of you are just stupid. Just stop, stop procreating. But the men who don't want vasectomies are the stupid ones. And they keep procreating and you just mm, the same ones who don't like vasectomies also don't like condoms so it's a catch 22 and you're like no pick a struggle you don't <laughs> want kids you don't want condoms but you won't get a cut how is that now my problem so 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 uh, gentlemen uh, i'd like to inform you that this is uh, the, the the mice it worked in the rats but why mice bill is test on mice i but don't know why test on pigs there are now more tests are coming and they are moving to rabbit and then they'll come. And you know drink. rabbits because they. You've seen how they. Have you, seen, have you ever seen rabbits operate? No. La, 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 la. They are in a rush. I don't know where they are going. With the, out. And then their pregnancies are very short. And that's why they are like. But after million. rabbits, they move to people. They, they're not going to go to like pigs. Mm-mm. Aye, aye. That one that guy. He needs for 30 minutes. 
chicken don't have a genetic makeup like people. What is wrong chicken, with you? Chicken are complicated. They will not. They will not give you correct results. So yeah, I'm rabbits then people. I'm I'm definitely for it. And you you would be shocked how many people how it will move. I think it will actually to, move. You will be shocked. I think it will move in the first world countries. Because you do realize that uh, the, 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 the women's contraceptive pill in Uganda gets finished before condoms. Yes. You knew this, None right? None of us like condoms. Achoo, even even achoo women achoo even women don't like condoms. That achoo 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 we don't eat our sweets in the wrappers. <laughs> but then that doesn't mean that we want kiddos all the time also. Hey! <laughs> Every warmer. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the we don't eat our sweets in the wrappers on that bombshell. <laughs> it's been real. But now <laughs> let's 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 share the burden. <laughs> let's share the burden, fellow men. Hey. Let us let anyway. us unwrap together in peace. But you yeah. you do you what take you your need to do. Is, so before you start, you all are, I say you we now in now we now Hey, then I see you take. <laughs> But I'm also going to take because Just men for... lie, men <laughs> lie, men lie. But the men don't. There are those who genuinely don't want kids. And there will be a man who will pop a tic tac, saying, "Bo, I've swallowed. We go. We don't eat our sweets in our Gundi. What did you say? We don't like to say in our anyway. That what she said. We have to go. Thank you so much. Uh, we do this every single week here at Shisanyama Village. And a big thank you to our team, Globetech and Ray City, for helping us put this together. Until next week, remember, the, on YouTube, it is The Last Round Uganda. On social, The Last Round UG. Until next week, a big thank you to Tascamo Lager. Let's drink responsibly always. You don't? You mean chicks don't like CD? don't like them. Okay, Anne Marie doesn't like them. Let me not say I'm sweet for everyone. But <laughs> tell me but one genuinely, guy. But genuinely, even, even other chi the chiles, the other chicks, you know. The ones that I know? It, it's not nice. It's not nice. Marcus, I have you, feel, you can feel the I, difference? Yes. 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 You can feel the difference. Even the other ones, the, the, the new ones, they make this super thin. It is, it is nonsense. It's nonsense. Hey, you learn something new every day. No one likes them. Tell me what, man. The last round, the last round, the last round. So, you know I like to read wild, widely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I came across this on BBC News. Mm -hmm. A wooden object found at a Roman fort on Hadrian's Wall in the UK may have been a second century sex toy. Experts thought that the 6.2 inch object may have been a sewing tool, but now think it may be the earliest example of a wooden phallus found anywhere in the ex-Roman Empire. When they analyzed it, they found both ends were noticeably smoother, indicating <laughs> repeated use over time, suggesting it might have had a more intimate use. However, they said they had not ruled it out that it could have been a good luck symbol or a tool to grind the ingredients. Six, six, six inches, you said? Can me see what it looks like? <laughs> you said smooth on both sides. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> Chicks that side, that time we are tough. A piece of wood. <laughs> a piece of wood. But they, the, then there's Cleopatra. They didn't have cucumbers, but Cleopatra, who was the OG bad bitch, uh -huh. she used to use a calabash, like a gourd shaped pot where they'd put bees, shake them to anger them, and that vibration she would they hold against on. herself. Huh? She would hold against herself. Innovation. <laughs> Women in tech. <laughs> after, I'm here for it. After God. Fear me. <laughs> you shake bees. Because you went. So, guys, these days we're using batteries and power, but anyway. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. No wonder lesbianism is racing. <laughs>